In this video, we will learn how to customize checkboxes as buttons. In the board, we can customize the buttons to enable and disable a variety of functions. For example, to get information on objects by selecting the desired items. But first, we need to create a Telegram bot and connect it to the puzzle bot service. You can find detailed instructions on how to connect the bot to the service at the link in the description. First, let's go to our bot and select the variable step. We need to create a variable for each future button. To do this, click on the Add Variable button. Give it the name Icon1. Assign default values in the form of a check mark icon. Click on the Save button. Let's repeat the steps but give the variable name icon2. Let's go to the Constructor tab. First, we need to create one inline command and two condition buttons. Let's create an inline command and give it a name begin. Let's add a text block and write the text. Now we need to add a condition button. Give it a name. Click on Add Check and select Variable Value. Enter the name of the created variable. In the Phrases tab, add the necessary icon. Now we need to write this variable icon 1 in the name of the button. Let's add the change variable action. Let's also enter the name of our variable icon1 and fill in the expression column as follows. Let's also add the action send comment or condition and write the name of our inline comment. Let's go to the exclusion rule section. Add the variable in the button name. Let's clear the actions and add the added variable action. Let's fill in the expression column as follows. Also add the action send comment or condition and enter the name of the inline comment. So, depending on the current value of our variable icon1, we change it to the opposite value and send it to the original inline command. Let's duplicate the condition button. Give it a name. And fill it in the same way. Let's return to the inline command. In the inline keyboard column, click on the Add button. Let's select the condition button action. 
and enter the name of our button. Repeat the same for the second button. We can also change the position of the buttons. Let's go to the Start command and add the Action Send command or condition. And select our command Begin. Let's publish the changes and test the work in the bot. Send the Start command. Select both options and deselect. Great! Everything works correctly. If we want the checkbox to be checked only on one button and automatically unchecked on all the other button, then in the actions we write changes for all the other variables. To do this, let's go back to the constructor. Go to the condition button. We need to delete the actions with a change in the exclusion rule. And also duplicate the action with the changes. Also, we need to change the name of the variables together with the icon. Let's repeat all the actions for the second button. Let's publish the changes and check the work of the bot in Telegram. Send the start command. Then let's choose one of the options. Choose another option. Great, everything works correctly. So we'll learn how to customize checkboxes as buttons.